Hey everyone, my name is Murray. Welcome to this video. We're going to talk about this awesome title pack right over here. This is just one of many that Digital Products 669 does. Super awesome pack, super robust as well. You can use them for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, super versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. Oh, and they're also on 4K, whatever that means. Yeah. Oh, and that, that's Emma, by the way. Let's check it out. All right, first off, this is a huge pack. There's nine categories. You can use it either in Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Final Cut Pro 10. So there's versions for all three. If you download the Premiere Pro version, it's also compatible with After Effects. So you only have to download that once and you can use it in both software. You got tutorials, you got help files, you got a ton of stuff coming in the download as well. So that's also really useful. In addition on the website, link is down in the description by the way, there's a preview of every single title that there is. So you can see what it looks like even before you buy the download. And you can see there's quite a lot of them and they're super advanced and made in a way where it's made easy for you. So let's take a look and see what it takes to edit these titles. Okay, so once you've downloaded this pack, you'll get the zipped file over here and simply right click on it and you can extract it. Once you've extracted it, you'll see all these files here. There's three of them. The top one is for Mac operating system and the bottom two are for Windows. There's a helpful manual over here. You can figure out how to use things. It also has more information about the pack. If you have Mac, this is how you would install it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for Windows because it doesn't show you here. But there is more of a tutorial video. There's links and all kinds of cool features as well. And then in the main folder here, we have nine different categories. It's all organized for you. It has the motion graphics templates that you can use in Premiere Pro or in After Effects. I'll show you how to do both. So. Let's start out with After Effects. So with After Effects open, I'm gonna to go to File and Open Project. Next, I'm going to locate my templates and I'm just going to go with the cartoon because it's my favorite and I'm just gonna open one. Then it's going to convert it into the same folder. So make sure you go into the same location that you have it and do Extract. Then it's gonna import it and it's created a new After Effects project for this title. You can see it's created it here in a new folder. There's the project. So now that we're in After Effects, Already this title looks so cool, but let's customize it. I'm just going to collapse all the effects in this layer because I'm gonna select it and go to my effects tab here. And you can see everything that you can edit. It's pretty crazy the amount of options you have here in regards to changing colors, changing shapes, changing sizes, even changing the distance between each letter. So the spacing. All of this has been created with a robust system in order for layers to resize and for everything to stay uniform so that when you change text or you have a unique situation, shapes and layers and the sequence will resize and move accordingly. That way you don't have to worry about any issues and glitches and you don't have to be concerned about text being cut off or anything like that. So check this out. I can change the position of the title with this effect over here. I can change the scale because these are in 4K. So if you have a 4K project, that works. I can remove the background. So it's a transparent background. I can move the bubble. So I can just have my name if that's what I wanted. I can adjust the width of the bubble and I can change the position of both text. In addition, I can adjust the scale of each text. I can adjust the padding or the tracking of the text. So more space in between each letters. You can see that the whole bubble adjusts in size as I do so. I don't have to worry about the text being cut off. I can do the same thing for the main text. The bubble moves along with it so that it stays uniform. I can adjust the colors, change the colors to whatever I like. I can do purple. Obviously, I don't like that, so I can undo that. Okay, for the fun part, let's make this look like it's yours. Go ahead and open the main comp, and then you can see the text box for the main text. Go ahead and double click this layer and then double click the pre-comp and it'll take you into the text layer and you can change the text in here. 
So let's put in my name. Then with that all done, go back to your main comp here, Cartoon 9 in my case, and you can see it's updated in real time. Then let's go back into the pre-composition of the sequence. You can select the text holder for number two, double click it, and you can change the text to whatever you like. Then go back into the main sequence again, and you can see that's also updated. Also, the bubble has resized according to the size and shape of the text. So that's super awesome. You don't get a lot of templates that do that. And so let's say you want to use it in your project. Well, what you can do is you can turn the alpha layer on. So have a transparent background. Then what you can do is with control M, it'll add it to a render queue. Make sure you choose RGB alpha and choose AVI on a Windows or QuickTime if you're on Mac. Click OK and then choose the destination where you want to save it. Now, when you render it out, it'll render out the whole animation with an alpha channel. And you can just slap that onto your videos wherever you're editing it. Let's say you're editing it in Final Cut Pro 10. You can do that, but you can use this pack in Final Cut Pro 10. So that's very cool. Or maybe you just want to render it out because you're going to use it many times and having it all set up for you later on is going to be a lot easier. You can do that or you can drag in your footage. Once you've dragged it in, just create your new composition, drag your footage in. And then what we want to do is we want to have the cartoon 09 composition in here so i'm just going to drag it into this composition and you can see it shows up here but obviously it's really big because i've got a 1080p composition instead of a 4k because the title is in 4k so i'm just going to go back to it go to the controls and i can reduce the title scale then when i go back into my composition you can see that scale is updated and i can also adjust the scale here so there's two places you can do it I can reposition it just in this composition and I'm going to change the duration to about five seconds. And there we go. You can see that animates up, but my video footage is only one second plus a few frames. So I'm just going to duplicate it just for the sake of the video. But usually your video is going to be longer than one second. So with all that duplicated, you'll be able to see that the whole title goes throughout the whole video and it looks quite nice actually. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more for After Effects. So I'm going to go to file, open project just like before. And let's do a different one. Let's go with slice and I'm just going to pick one. Then it's just going to save it. Let's make sure we save it in the same place and we're going to do extract. And you can see the whole thing is set up just like the previous one, edited the way you like with no limitations, really. This is also for a lot of basic users. So if you don't know After Effects that much, just follow what I've shown you and you can get some amazing stuff without actually knowing much about After Effects. Okay, switching to Premiere Pro, this is actually also just as simple, if not more simple. If people are using Premiere Pro and you don't have After Effects, that's fine. These templates work perfect in Premiere Pro, just as well as After Effects. So first you can navigate to Window and then go down to the Essential Graphics tab. And you can see already these are the default templates. But let's go and add a new one with the bottom button over here. Locate where you have them on your hard drive and you can open the one that you desire. And you can see it appeared at the bottom here. So I can just click and drag that into the sequence and it's going to set the whole composition up for me. Now, remember, if you haven't installed the fonts that you have a link to in the download, this error is going to come up. It's going to tell you that you have missing fonts. So remember that in the project file that you download, there is a help file which you can get the link to download all those fonts. So go ahead and download those. And all you need to do is you can select all of them with Control or Command A, right click on them and install. You might get an error to say that there's already that font installed. Just go ahead and skip that step. Make sure you don't overwrite it. Let's make our way back to Premiere Pro. So with our Essential Graphics tab still open, you can see if I play this, it's some good motion, but it's in 4K and my sequence is in 1920 by 1080. So clearly it's too big, but it's okay. We can fix that. This just gives you the flexibility that if you use 4K projects, it's gonna look really nice. So with it selected in my Essential Graphics tab, I can change the duration. It's right now 60 seconds. Let's take it down to, uh, let's say eight seconds. That seems okay. You can see that the duration changes here. I can choose to remove the background like I can in After Effects. Super easy. I can also change the position of the title. I can change the scale of the title because it's so big as it's in 4K. And then here's all my text fields. So I can just change it, type in Murray Frost. And then I can choose to make it all uppercase. I can choose the font that I want. I'm going to reduce the scale again. And then I can also actually just reduce the scale of that title. By itself just in case I want to keep the subtext the same size then I can change the subtext to whatever I like and again I have all the font and size options available to me as well 
On both texts, I can change the tracking or the spacing between each letter. That's also cool. And then of course, this template won't be complete without color options. So you can choose whichever colors you want in order to match your own brand. But let's say you don't want to install every single template one at a time. Well, I got a solution for you. Go back to where you have the template in your files and open each folder. Then select all of them and simply drag them into your essential graphics window. Give it some time, it's still got to import it. Once it's imported, you can see them and you can see the preview as well. So like a thumbnail. Then just do the same for all the other folders. You only have to do this nine times, not a big deal. Then once you've finished with that, you can see all of them in your essential graphics here. Let's just replace the one I did previously because that looks pretty cool. And again, you have all the fields that you can edit just like before. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below so you can stick around and watch more videos coming. And until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting. I still don't know what 4K is. Like 10% of this video, then it's just gonna be a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> Never mind, it's a joke. <laughs> oh, I thought that was my phone. I was like, why are you, what are you doing with my phone? <laughs> I. D Forgot you don't like it, but I had to. You know what my mom does? I had to. She freaking goes like this and she whips her head and oh, cracks her neck. And I can't I... do that. From Digital Products 669. Uh, super all. The. the <laughs> super all. I told you this is gonna take a few attempts. <laughs> my mind just goes too fast and I can't get it out fast enough. <laughs> take two. <laughs> yeah, this is a serious video. This is a serious video. Titles. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't start. laughs> You're not I had like can. half of a laugh left and I didn't finish it. <laughs> we have the giggles. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just about to start. I can also do the ones like, like this. Your head's gonna pop off. Like it's just gonna. Mm. Okay, no, the people need to know about titles. This is important. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this done. I forgot everything I was supposed to say. That's pretty much it. That's what I start with. And I'll just go. What? I didn't realize, but the tops of those blinds look terrible. I'm gonna be YouTube famous. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. If you like this video, consider... Nope. Don't consider. You should like. <laughs> start over. <laughs> it, it's so hard! Yeah. All of a sudden, every word, I'm so aware of what I'm saying. Yeah, I know and stick around for the future. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, I don't know why I'm repeating it. <laughs> I guess I'm so used to saying that. <laughs> I did it so good! Dang it, you ruined that was a my good, good take! That was a good practice, right? And that yeah. is You don't have to yell, terrible. the microphone's right. I'm not yelling, I'm talking. Okay. And that